Kang is Rick. And Rick is Kang. Einhorn is Finkel. And Finkel is Einhorn. Oh my God. Greetings, friends. I am the man you may know as E from Our Views Will Kill You, and I am here to talk a little bit about Kizang, the Kizankerer, from Ant-Man and the Wasp, Mania. So I just thought it was kind of amusing. I wanted to paint this picture for you, and I'm not the first one to come up with this, that Rick Sanchez from Rick and Morty and Kang are similar to each other, and in a way, I, I thought it was, it's like, who came first, the chicken or the egg? And I thought it would be a good place to discuss this. Again, like, subscribe, share. That really helps the channel. But let me know what your thoughts are. Are we totally off base? Are we right? I think perhaps Rick will be the superior one. But again, with all the things that are going on with Rick and Morty, let's just remember old Rick before all the badness. But let's talk about it. We'll 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 see what's going on here. You may not realize this, but Kang the Conqueror, th and this is from this is this isn't that long ago, but this is an article from Movie Web. MCU Kang the Conqueror is more akin to Rick Sanchez than Thanos because they keep saying he's like the new big bad, right? Kang is the new big big bad dude. We have to be afraid of him. Now, he's been introduced twice now. He was introduced in Loki, and clearly they saw the numbers from Disney+, Plus and they say Loki was a giant hit, but probably wasn't as big of a hit as you thought it was, especially for the regular people who were going to go watch the movie, the normies, right? So the normies needed to be reintroduced to Kang and be given another intro, like another story. Now, I, I don't know. They're, they're both a little dissimilar, so I don't know which one's the correct one. But what I think is is fascinating is they keep saying how terrifying he, he is, how terrifying Kang is, yet we have seen him twice, and I am not terrified. And I'm pretty sure that if he's in an Ant-Man movie in which I'm going to assume he loses, then why would we be scared of him? Maybe because he's infinite Ricks. He comes from the Citadel of Ricks. Now, we may think that the Citadel of Ricks came first, but perhaps we're all wrong here. Maybe the comic book influenced Rick and Morty. And what I find fascinating is that perhaps Kevin Feige saw Rick and Morty and may have seen some of the award-winning Rick and Morty episodes like The Citadel of Rick and Pickle Rick and thought to himself, man, I really need to hire these people because it seems like they might have read a comic book or two, but I don't think they did because they're not very good writers, and we'll get into that. So people are here saying he's he's more akin to Rick and Morty. Why? Because there's infinite of them, right? And and okay, what we find out though is that Avengers, the Kang Dynasty, and Ant Man and the Wasp were both written by a veteran of Rick and Morty, Jeff Loveness. Now. Apparently, it, 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 it's, they've hired several Rick and Morty people, right? They had Michael Waldron, who worked on Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, and Loki. Jessica Gao also worked on Rick and Morty. Uh, she did She-Hulk, Attorney at Law. Absolute garbage. Ricky or Loki, I have rants above here, which I'll tell you what I think of Loki, where Loki is pretty terrible. Tom Kaufman wrote an episode of Loki, who also worked on Rick and Morty. Dan Harmon did some work on the Doctor Strange script. Interesting. Although, apparently, in this article here from film, slash film.com, that many of his contributions ended up on the cutting room floor. But there's clearly a tight link between Rick and Morty and the Marvel Universe. Right? So, according to Deadline, Jeff Loveness has been tapped to write Avengers The Kang Dynasty. And he just wrote... <clears throat> Uh, he just we we just finished watching um quantum you know quantum mania and that was not particularly well written okay so, and I'll look I don't have any problem with Jonathan Majors he's fine he's no Rick but it's it's a little 
interesting to see that there's these parallels where he like operates through the whole multiverse and spoiler if you saw the end credit scene for quantum mania you saw that there's like a bajillion kangs and they're all hooting and hollering at each other and there's uh I, I'm because I'm not that that familiar with the comic book. I mean, we're talking like pr pretty B rated villain. Like, if you thought Iron Man and Thor were like D level event, like they're D level Marvel characters, Kang is like bottom. Like they're going pretty low in the heap. Like nobody's ever heard of this guy. So, me personally, I've never read a comic book with Kang in it, and I had no real concept of what's going on. Uh, Jonathan Majors is fine. I didn't like his apple-eating version of uh, He Who Remains. Uh, the Kang he did in Quantumania was all right, but I'm still a little unclear as to what's going on. But what I do know is that he has a citadel of Kangs, and I looked this up on the Marvel database. So what came first, chicken or the egg? Seems like the Rick concept and the citadel of ricks may have been taken from the comic books so who's more powerful rick or kang i don't know but there's clearly a connection it's clearly all connected right it's the mcu it's all connected baby well apparently it's connected to the comic books so i think it's kind of interesting i thought that was a really neat connection that kang has a citadel of kangs and they all talk to each other and they all, you know, hang out and party in the same place. All these Kang dudes. So, I mean, what do you think? Are you terrified of Kang at this point? Do you think Kang is, is a worthy opponent? I don't know. I know that there's, I guess there's a Prime Kang and an Immortus Kang. You saw a Kang dressed up in slight Asian appropriation. You saw one dressed up like a pharaoh. You saw one with a bunch of... of uh, robot parts right apparently the council of kangs was recreated as Ka the kang collective during the 89th gath gathering of the kangs of the trans temporal hub world they <laughs> exiled kangaroo the conqueror okay i mean w i don't know what, what all this means but kang and rick are more connected than we realized clearly there's an influence i think they need to get rid of some of these rick and morty writers they're just not cutting it if you think differently, let me know in the comments below. I could be totally off base. could be totally wrong. Let me know what you think. Thank you for listening. Really appreciate it. We could use your help. A couple of subs here or there can make a big difference as to whether or not we cross some important thresholds for YouTube. So we appreciate that. You can also catch us on Rumble. You can also catch us. We have a full-length audio podcast. It's free to you. Spotify, Stitcher, iTunes, all those great places and more. We're about to celebrate our 286th episode. So please catch it. Thank you for listening. We love all y'all, but I am on to the next one.